Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn about number bonds to 50. We've already covered number bonds to 50 for addition. Now we're going to look at subtraction. So let's have a look at our first example. 50 minus something equals 24. So 50 minus something equals 24. What number do we have to take away from 50 for it to equal 24? Now if I was to rewrite this question, I could put this right over here. So it would actually become 50 equals the 24 we have in the question plus something. Okay, if it's minus on the left hand side, if you move it across, it becomes a plus, as we see over here. So what number added to 24 will give us 50? Okay, and how do we do this? Okay, so firstly, I'm going to start with the units. In 24, we have four units. And look at number 50, we've got to get that to equal 0. Now the only way that can equal 0 is by adding the number 6. Now you know this from your number bonds, 4 plus 6 equals 10. I'll just change colours for that. So 24 plus 6 makes 30. So we are now on 30. Now we're going to do the tens. How many tens do we have? Well now we've got three tens. I'll just label it over here. Three tens. The number 50 has got five tens. So what number do we have to do we have to add? Well we've got to add two. Two tens. So it's effectively 20. And if we put the equal sign, 30 plus 20 is 50. So we've reached our target of 50. What numbers did we have to add to 24 to get to 50? Well, it's this number here. It's a 6 over here and the 4 over here. So we had to add 26. 50 minus 26 equals 24. Okay. Now with a bit of practice, you won't need to do, I'll just highlight it, any of these workings out over here. You'll simply go from the question 24, you'll add 6 to make it 30, and then you'll add 20 to make it 50. Okay, let's have a look at our second example. This time we have 50 minus something equals 32. 50 minus something equals 32. Okay, I'm going to start with the units. In 32 we've got 2 units, in 50 we've got 0. So what number added to 2 is going to make it effectively 0? What we need to add 8. Okay. So we're going to add 8. 32 plus 8 is 40. So we've got our target of getting that to 0. Now we're going to look at the tens. We've got 4 tens over here. 50 has got 5 tens. So therefore we have to add 10. 4 plus 1 is 5. I'll just erase that and change it to the cyan colour again. So that makes 50. So we've got to our target of getting this to 50. Now which numbers did we use to get to 50? Well we had 8 and 10. 8 and 10 is 18. That is our answer. 50 minus 18 equals 32. Now as I've said earlier, this looks a little bit complicated, but once you do this, you'll be able to 
work through this with mental arithmetic. You won't even need to do any workings and go straight to the answer. To do that, you need to practice.